Good morning. So in part two of this video, um, just kind of wanted to go over more about how to save money on building a cabin. Now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna show you different, different materials that we bought and what we bought them for. And this will kind of give you the best idea on how to uh, execute building a, a cabin from the ground up. So this would be the coal carts that I was explaining that you can get at Lowe's and uh, other retailers that it's basically their, their discounted lumber. Now, a lot of these stores will drop to 50% off, but you can, you can get them to go much, much lower. walking down here to the cabin and uh, kind of just going to show you some of the materials that we still have left down here um, part two of this video is pretty much just explaining the materials that you can get for cheap and you know if you're, if you're trying to build something on a budget you know you got to try to save money where you can and materials are going to be your biggest expense, you know, that aside of land. But, you know, if, if you already have a spot picked out, and that's already secured, and now you're just trying to put something together for a tiny home. A lot of people buy these tiny home kits, and really they're kind of a rip-off. Because if you just do your research and, you know, take your time and assemble an array of materials and build it well there's the majority of your cost right there so tons of different plans if you want to pick up some plans um, you know you just get creative Here's kind of a sneak peek on the cabin. So it's black and tan. So we got some of the trim up around the windows and uh, we got a little bit of the material up on this side here. The following weekend, my buddy should be back up and we'll be able to get the rest of the material the the larger tan sheets up and so back down here is going to be the wainscoting around the perimeter of it so that'd be black so it'd be black around the bottom and then be tan up the sides so it'll look pretty sweet 
It's the entrance way in. We'll have over here. Uh, this is kind of going to be the living room. The fireplace is going to go over here. It's going to be a little, little kind of pot belly stove. Um, and then upstairs will be a little bedroom. Down here in the corner will be the uh, a small little bathroom where this big bay window is. Is going to be the uh, small downstairs bedroom. Have a staircase that will go up. And that'll go up to the upstairs bedroom. I still have to put a large uh, window upstairs for the upstairs bedroom. Um, originally it was gonna go out. So the, there would be, you know, the stairs that would come from here up and then you'd have a door up at the, at the end and then you'd basically be have a, a door that would go into the bedroom, but we're getting rid of that design. And now this will be the kitchen over here. So this is another, another window that we got super cheap. This is a big Anderson window. I think it's like six by five. I think we got that for, for about 10 bucks. This one here, that one we got for a dollar. This one here, I think we got that one for five bucks too. Um, this one was a $25 window. This one over here, I think was 50 bucks for this big uh, Anderson window as well. And this one's big. This one's a, uh, this is a casement window. Um, I think this one's about five feet by six and a half feet. So it's a good size. Um, but a lot of the stuff is just leftover contractor builder materials. Um, and they, give them to the fire company to raise money at the end of the year uh, near us. And they do what's called a mud sale. So you have all the Amish that come out for the mud sales and they basically put the whole event together and all the proceeds go to the fire company. And, you know, everybody around kind of goes to the events and, you know, it's a, it's an all day thing that, or it's two days and you can get, windows and doors and roofing and siding and all si sorts of wood for building materials. But you know, it's, I think, I think it's like uh, 10 bucks to get in and you get your number and then, uh, you know, you, you can get entire pallets of brick for, you know, five or six bucks where those are the types of things where, you know, you got an imagination go to these things and you just start shopping start picking up different things that that you that you can see might have a have a use for yourself so here is our holding tank um, for the cabin so we got this tank for 300 bucks um, this quality of tank is pretty much overkill because it's double wall um, and these things are super heavy duty. Um, this was a, a decommissioned fuel tank and what they do after they pull them out of the ground is it's mandatory they have to basically steam clean them um, and then they can set them aside. So these there's no residue, it doesn't even smell like fuel, there's no oily residue in them, nothing. They're, they're essentially 100% clean and they've been sitting so long with uh, the top off of them, they were in a, basically an area where they were not collecting water and debris. So there's not a whole bunch of stuff inside of them. Um, but this will work ideally for what we need. Um, Cause we'll basically hook the toilet right up to it um, and bury it. Um, with enough exposure on the top so that a honeysucker truck can come in and, you know, suck it out one time, probably every two, three years. Um, 
I, I doubt we would ever be able to fill this tank. This is a 2,500 gallon tank. So you can see 2,500 gallons. Um, so that'd be, that'd be pretty nice. <laughs>